Hey YouTube, this is GV Loan Guy. It's Sunday, September 25th, and I put out a video last night and I pulled it this morning because I don't want to be part of misinformation and apparently I had some of that stuff wrong on there. And my perspective on Stereo B uh, and so on. But this guy says it way better than me. So just take a quick listen to this and uh, We'll see if it makes a little bit more sense. It still points out that what Mr. Comet Watch says is Elenin is not Elenin. All right? This is old footage from Stereo 2010. Last year, same stuff coming on the screen. Just take a look. Uh, hello, YouTube. It's Sunday, September 25th. There you go. I didn't mention this in the last couple of videos, but it's, it's a good thing to look at. We're looking at last year on the... August 10th, and we're looking at the Stereo B and what we had back then. What we had back then, we had the Sun over here, we had the Pleiades up here, Mercury's down below the ecliptic, and we had Venus, Earth, and Jupiter. So let's see what that looks like on the HI2 instrument. Here's there you the go. HI2 instrument, and the Sun's right here, and along the ecliptic would be Venus, and Earth, and Jupiter. And you don't see Mercury on here and don't see the Pleiades on here. But there's the other three right there, Jupiter a little bit below, or just a hair above, and Venus a hair below. So let's take and uh, look at why we don't see Mercury or Pleiades on there, and we have Mercury at 12 degrees away from the Sun, and we have the Pleiades at only about 7 degrees away. So that's why you don't see it on HI2, is because they haven't reached the magical 19 yet. So let's take and run it ahead and see what it looks like for when they do come on. Now Mercury is going to be the first to come on, and it's going to be just a little bit below the ecliptic. And see where that is. And that looks like Mercury right there, I would say. So let's take and back it up to where he's barely coming on. It's somewhere right around in there. Close. And that's going to be on the 8th, or on the 17th. 8, 17, 2200. So let's take and run it ahead. And let's see where it goes on the 17th. You see Mercury's following its orbit. Ladies is moving along with the stars. And Mercury's getting pretty close to the end of its orbit here, so it's going to have to be coming on pretty soon. And there's the 17th right there. And check the distance here. And right at 1853, almost 19. And that's about where it should come on the field of view. That's what we have coming on the field of view right here, just a little bit below the ecliptic. Let's work for right down here, a little bit below Venus, right about where it should be. And so let's look up here, and is that it? Yes, that's the Pleiades coming on right there. So let's see if what, uh, what time the Pleiades, in fact, Pleiades is right over Mercury at that time. We'll go back and check it out there, somewhere around in there. That's on the 24th. We'll take and run it ahead to the 24th and see what it looks like. And you see Mercury's reaching the end of its orbit here. It's going to start more or less hanging in there on the camera because it's going parallel to the, to the field of view of it. You see the Pleiades up here continuing on its march right in the same star path, star pattern. And that's the 24th right there. And let's check out the distance on the Pleiades here. 1832. Yeah, that's about right. Let me take a move it ahead just a hair. And that's about 0 .7, 18.7 right there. And that's going to be at 1300 on the 24th. Here we have 24, and right about there is when the Pleiades is coming in. Kind of a big system there. It's kind of hard to judge an exact time. 
And we see it move on out, and it's directly above our little Mercury down there on the 28th. Take and run that ahead. And uh, on the 28th, you'll see them start to line up there. Mercury is still on the outside of its orbit. And you see the Pallades moving with the stars. And right about in there, they look pretty lined up. And uh, it's on the 28th. It's right about where it should be. 28th, you got Mercury below Pallades. Now you notice Mercury is at the end of its orbit. It's not going to go any farther. That's as far as it's going to go. It's going to start retreating now on the, on, on the camera here. You can watch it retreat. As Mercury retreats, you'll see the Pallades just keeps marching right on across. And so uh, you can see that right here. See Mercury's hanging on the outside of its orbit there, and then you'll see it turn and start retreating. There it goes right there, moving off the screen while the Pallades keeps going. And if you see the Pallades, he doesn't follow Mercury's orbit. He goes places where Mercury is only dreamed of, so there's no way in the world that up there is Mercury, not when it's out past uh, the Earth there. So uh, we can be assured that that's not Mercury up there. This is Mercury down here, right where it should be, below the ecliptic, and the Pleiades is up above the ecliptic. Here's the ecliptic right here. Perfect. We can also be assured that it's not Elenin. It's the Pleiades. All right, so I had the angles wrong on stereo B and which direction it was looking, but the point is that, that Mr. Comet Watch is putting out bad information. That is not Elenin. All right, that's, that's the Pleiades.